Hallo meine lieben Freunde, willkommen zurück zu The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Der letzte Part war ein bisschen krank. Der war ein bisschen, bisschen sick. Und ich muss zugeben, ich habe ein bisschen Angst. Ich will nicht hinter die abgeschlossene Tür. Ich will nicht wissen, was uns dahinter erwartet. Obwohl wir gerade Streit mit Irving haben, sollen wir wohl es dem Irving melden. Alles klar. Irving. Finally. Du bist der Einzige, den ich hab. I know, I told you to go to hell. I was dying on this chair. Ich hatte Schiss. You're right. That room freaked me out. So? I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's gotta be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know, I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me, to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Mein Vater. Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It... it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. Okay, wir gehen also noch nicht in die Tür, sondern wir gehen erstmal in die Abstellkammer. Ähm Okay. Ähm Mesa, nein, alles klar. Über der Rezeption, hat sie gesagt, ne? Das heißt, es müsste auf dieser Etage sein. Nein, 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 stimmt nicht. Stimmt nicht. Hier müsste das sein. Hier muss irgendwo eine Abstellkammer... Hier vielleicht? Oh nein, 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 <lacht> nee, oh, ich will nicht, ähm. ah, okay, jetzt machst du es, oh. Ich, ich häng feste. Och nein, nicht schon wieder. Nicole! Tu mir das nicht an! Nicole! <lacht> nein! <lacht> schon wieder, Nicole! Aber warum ist das denn so verbuggt, wenn man hier durch diese kubigen Türen geht? Ah! Ich meine, ich bin zufrieden, ich will in diesen Raum nicht rein, wenn ich schon sehe, dass da die ganze... <lacht> ganz viele Puppen stehen. Oh! Ich habe es irgendwie geschafft, da wieder rauszukommen. Komme ich da wieder rein? Ah, oh, okay, so echt. Gott sei Dank, ich dachte schon, ich müsste neu starten. 
Was zum Fick? Ist das mein Hockeyschläger? Irving? Hallo? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick. Still steht die Kolle. Listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed. But why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? Oh god, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. What the fuck? Irving? Das gefällt mir alles gar nicht. Das gefällt mir alles überhaupt nicht. Oh Gott, ich will hier wieder raus. Ich will hier sofort wieder raus. Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Hast du gehört, was ich gesagt habe? Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? Welche Türen, Irving? What doors are you talking about? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving. Okay. Irving, was tust du? Was verbirgt sich hinter der verschlossenen Tür im zweiten Stock? Ich will ja nichts sagen, aber das ist fucking creepy. Es ist so fucking creepy. Alles oder nichts jetzt. Alles oder nichts. Wait. Wait. Nee. Nee. Nein. Die Tür war eben noch abgeschlossen. Die Tür war eben noch abgeschlossen. Ich kack mir in die Hose, Alter. Ich kann nicht in die Türen. Ich kann in die. What the fuck? Car engine. Transmission. Was zur... Hölle! Nicole's Data? Nein. Nein! Hallo? Ich imagine du hast meine Ruhe gefunden. Was? Was all das mean? Das ist eine Frage, die ich mich selbst myself many times. Was does all das mean, Irving? How far do you want to push yourself? How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. Had to do it. Was hast du getan? What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins. You never talked to him. 
Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you've got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years. Day after day after day. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. Wer bist du? Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. His father... Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. But I couldn't. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. A human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much. And it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. Ich habe Rachel nicht gehasst. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. Doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. Wo bist du? Irving. Where are you right now? The day my sister paid with her life for her love. We all died. We make up the history of the Timberlock. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. Sag mir, was du von mir willst. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going. To get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Holy fuck. Alles klar. 
Irving war die ganze Zeit hier oben. Und er war niemals der, für den er sie ausgegeben hat. Er war die ganze Zeit Rachels Bruder. Oh, fuck. Vor allem hat er einfach hier in der Kälte gelebt. Hier schneit es rein. Deshalb wusste er natürlich auch über alles in diesem Haus Bescheid. Und er konnte alles manipulieren, er konnte alles steuern. Er war derjenige, der die ganze Zeit hier rumgelaufen ist. Und jetzt bleibt uns nur noch eins. Der Dachboden. Männer Hülle unseres Vaters. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on. In the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it. Those who cast it aside with indifference. And those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light in death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be good. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Alter. Als ich, als ich die Tafel gerade umgedreht hat und der Mörder stand, da ist mein Herz gerade kurz stehen geblieben. Warum bin ich? Ich, der Mörder, es ergibt keinen Sinn. Es ergibt keinen Sinn. Warum ist Irving sauer auf mich? Was habe ich mit der ganzen Scheiße, die mein Vater abgezogen hat, zu tun? Wo liegt ein Schlüssel? 
Ich nehme jetzt letztes mit. Die werden hier oben wohl Schach gespielt haben. Ich will nicht mehr. Schöne Schreibmaschine. The Light of Egypt. Das ist ein Autoschlüssel? Alter. Wenn ich ganz ehrlich mit euch bin, ich möchte nicht mehr in diesem Hotel sein. Ich möchte absolut nicht mehr in diesem Hotel sein. Alles war eine beschissene Lüge. Abgesehen von Rachels Tod. Ist das jetzt euer Ernst? Ich gehe jetzt. Ich. Hallo. Leonard war ein sehr besonderer Mann. Seine Seele war groß genug, dich zu lieben, sowohl du und Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't... I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth, a truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen, I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain, maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us, and you abandoned these people. Here in this place. Genug Rätsel. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Fuck, Alter, der Irving, der will mich auch brennen sehen, ne? Aber warum gibt er mir die Schuld? Jetzt mal ohne Scheiß. Nur weil ich Rachel, weil ich eifersüchtig auf Rachel war? Deswegen bin ich schuld an ihrem Tod? Das sehe ich halt nicht ein. Wo hat sie eigentlich ihre ganzen Notizen gemacht? War das nicht hier? Kann ich hier noch irgendwas tun? Ich glaube, es ist wirklich an der Zeit, das Haus zu verlassen. Das Hotel. Ich glaube, es gibt nichts mehr zu tun.
gehe mal davon aus, dass Irving auch nicht mehr hier ist. Bitte lass mich jetzt einfach nur noch hier wegfahren. Bitte lass jetzt nichts mehr passieren. Das war nur die Treppe, oder? Okay, das Auto meiner Mom. Red. Was habe ich jetzt genommen? Was ist mit dieser Decke? Was die, was die? What the fuck? Ähm. Laundry. Ich will nicht mehr. Ich will nicht mehr. Ah, Spoiler. Entschuldigung. Laundry. Laundry, da. So. Wo kann ich die Decke waschen? Im Waschbecken. Das ist die Zahnspange. Oh Gott. How could I have forgotten? I. I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend And he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there. Red in the face. Her look. Her look? It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then... She put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. No. I... I don't... Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. 
I... I don't... <laughs> Fuck. I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket. God. Oh, my God. She killed Rachel. Thank you, Nikki. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. But she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. R Rachel is... Is here? You know, I... I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now... We can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen... We can work things out. What happened... Is terrible. But... All the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but I never thought it was so Kannst du mich nicht alleine lassen. You're the only one left. Don't leave me here alone. I'm scared. It's wide as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But... It's too cold. You'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can and go back to her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again at another time beyond this horizon of events. Everything is... Irving? Irving? I, I don't want to stay alone here. I... I... Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm... Rachel? Is that you? Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I've tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? 
I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch it. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well. I see. Well, you're the owner. And you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. But this kind of decision... I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Nein, Nicole. Nein. Nein. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us? What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. Nein, nein. Nein, das ist nein. I did all that you asked me. Stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. I said that. I'm scared. Nine. Nine. Ich bin fix und fertig, Leute. Ich bin, kom ich bin komplett am Ende. Ich weiß noch, damals, als ich das Projekt beim Kronk gesehen habe, habe ich die Geschichte nicht mehr so krass in Erinnerung gehabt. 
Und die war wirklich insane. Am Ende herauszufinden, dass Rachel gar keinen Selbstmord begangen hat, sondern dass unsere Mutter sie umgebracht hat. Und dann bringt sich auch noch ihr Bruder um, weil er das einfach nicht mehr ertragen kann. Und dann bringen wir uns auch noch um. Jetzt sind alle tot. Alle, die irgendwie mit der Geschichte zu tun hatten, sind tot. Das nenne ich mal ein Spiel ohne Happy End. Ich habe euch ja erzählt, dass das Spiel drei Endings hat. Es gibt auf jeden Fall ein super geheimes Ende, wo ich absolut keine Ahnung habe, was es ist und ich weiß auch nicht, wie man das freischaltet. Und ich hätte mich gerade im Auto für zwei Sachen entscheiden können. Entweder hätte ich das Auto anschalten können, so wie ich es getan habe, und wir haben uns damit quasi selbst umgebracht. Oder ich hätte einfach ein bis zwei Minuten lang gar nichts machen können. Dann wäre sie von alleine ausgestiegen. Und hätte sich nicht umgebracht. Dieses Ending habe ich damals bei Kronk gesehen. Und normalerweise hätte ich das Selbstmordende auch nicht genommen. Auf gar keinen Fall. Niemals. Aber da ich das ich will jetzt nicht sagen gute Ending, weil es gibt kein gutes Ending. Aber das Nicht-Selbstmordende habe ich nicht genommen, weil ich es schon kannte. Und ich glaube, nach der ganzen Scheiße, die wir erlebt haben, ich will es nicht, nicht richtig reden, was sie getan hat. Auf gar keinen Fall. Aber nach allem, was passiert ist, auch wenn es absolut nicht richtig war, das ist absolut fucked up. Das ist komplett... Ich kann es nicht beschreiben. Leute. Das war das Suicide of Rachel Foster. Ich hoffe, euch hat dieses Projekt gefallen. Ich hoffe, dass wir uns in einem anderen Projekt wiedersehen werden. Egal, ob ihr ein altes Projekt nachschaut oder ob ihr beim nächsten Projekt dabei sein werdet. Vielen Dank, dass ihr das mit mir durchgestanden habt. Und unter einer traurigen Stimmung muss ich mich jetzt leider verabschieden. Vielen Dank. Und ich sage, bis zu einem anderen Projekt vielleicht. Tschüss.